Hey everybody, I've uh, been getting a lot of the same questions, so I wanted to make sure that we jumped in and I showed you how to do a couple of these things. So first of all, uh, one of the big questions that I've been receiving is, if you have a Google Drive uh, document, if you have something that you want to share with kids, but it's a fairly large file with a lot of stuff inside of it, how do I share just one page of that or a couple of pages of that? So I want to show you what I would do. So I'm going to share my screen with you. You can see this here. Uh, so let's just say this is just an example. Uh, this is a Google Slides presentation, uh, and it has, um, I think it's a total of like 30 different slides, but you probably don't want to share that entire document into uh, Google Slides with your, or inside of Google Classroom with your kids. So what I would highly recommend is that you, uh, that you do this. So once it's in your drive, uh, you can right click it and do make a copy. So first of all, make a copy so you're not, uh, so you're not getting rid of that original. Uh, and once I have that, I'm going to open up the copy of that document. And uh, so this is, you know, this is uh, this is a total of 21 days of of work for kids. But maybe you only want to assign like a week at a time, or maybe just a couple days at a time. So what I would recommend doing is because now this is your copy and your this is not your original file. Uh, what I would do is, let's say that we just want to give kids maybe you know five days of this. So um, uh, Monday through Friday. I'm going to keep those days, and yep, here starts day six. So I'm just going to come down, and I'm going to delete all of the pages that I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and push uh, delete on my keyboard, and notice that I'm only left with, I'm left with days one through five. Yep, okay, so we're left with, we're left with those days. So now I can close that up. I don't need it anymore. It's a copy. I, I still have it. But notice that I still have my original here as well. So now I'm going to go over to Google Classroom. I have a test class set up in here. I am going to go to Classwork, Create, Assignment, just like you would normally go on. And I'm just going to put test in here just for, uh, just for the sake of, of showing you right now. I'm going to, um, you could put obviously instructions inside of there as well, although it is optional. And I'm going to go to Add. I'm going to pull it from my Google Drive. Now, because it's the last thing that I did, the last thing I did inside of my Google Drive, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, it's going to show up right at the very top here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click on that and notice that it puts it in here. So this is the copy. It's not the original. I probably should have renamed this. Like I could say days one through five or something similar to that. So you can rename it whatever you want. But just for, you know, for, for the sake of showing you right now, this is what you would see. Uh, over here on the right hand side, you can see that it says students can view file. You probably, in this situation, uh, you probably want to make a copy for each student. Just a reminder about this. So if you do students can view file, they're not going to be able to do anything to it. They're just going to be able to look at it. Students can edit file. They're going to be able to edit your original, which you probably don't want either. And then the third option there is make a copy for each student. So if I click on make a copy for each student, uh, you could obviously put in due dates and topics over here if you want this graded or ungraded. And then I would go ahead and assign that. And then the kids would see uh, just those pages, okay? So again, uh, from, from the beginning here, I have my original file. It was a total of 21 days of content. I don't want to assign all 21 days at one time, so I made a copy of that. Right click, make a copy. I have my new copy. I go in and I delete the pages that I don't want, keeping the pages that I do want to assign to kids. Then I would go over to Google Classroom and assign just those pages, okay? So I hope that makes sense. A lot of times you're, you're getting these really big files with a lot, of, a lot of content inside of them, and you don't necessarily want that. Uh, you just want to assign a few pages of that. So that's how I would, that's how I would suggest doing, uh, doing that, okay? All right, the other big question that I've been receiving is, uh, is this. So let me show you. I'm going to pull up here. Uh, PDF. And the question that I've been receiving is, uh, if I have a PDF, how do I take that file and how do I share just certain pages inside of Google Classroom? Or the, uh, the, the second part of that question is typically, how can I make this PDF interactive? So there are a few different ways that you could do that. I mean, you could use Kami, you could use a, a few different extensions to, to write on top of this. But what I would, uh, what I would highly recommend is, is this. Notice that this, uh, this PDF is a uh, it's eight and a half by eleven, right? So I'm going to go over uh, to my Google Drive, and I'm going to open a new Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to click on Google Slides. Notice that it comes up. Uh, it is widescreen. I don't necessarily want that, so we're going to change it because my original, like we just talked about, was eight and a half by eleven. 
So I'm going to close out of here. Let's get rid of those text boxes because I don't need those either. I'm going to go to File. Down towards the bottom, you see Page Setup. Whoops, clicked the wrong one. There we go, Page Setup. Uh, I can go to Custom. And I'm going to make this file size 8.5 by 11 because that was the original size of my PDF. There we go, perfect. So I'm only going to share, I'm going to share three different pages inside of here. Uh, and uh, this activity that we were doing here, this is uh, the Legend of the No Face Style. Um, kids are comparing two different, uh, two different folk tales. Uh, so I'm going to open up my snipping tool. So it depends on what kind of device you're on. If you're on a PC, you have the snipping tool on there. Uh, if you're on a Chromebook, uh, there are some extensions you can use for that as well. So you can just do a quick Google search and see how you can do that. You could also uh, use some hotkeys on your on your keyboard as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm using the snipping tool. I'm going to go do new. I'm going to snip this page. Now I have that here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to save as for the sake of uh, you know just demonstration purposes. I'm going to save this on my desktop. Uh, for now, I have three pages that I want to that I want to share with kids. Uh, so I am going to also snip this page and I will save that as well onto my desktop. And then I have this page right here where the kids are uh, answering the questions. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to snip this page too. Notice it has the lines on there, but it's not the end of the world and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, I'm going to save this as well. And I'm just saving it to my desktop. Okay, I'm done with this. There's a bunch more pages here and I could definitely use those if I wanted to, but I'm going to X out of there because I no longer need that. I'm going to come back over to my Google Slides presentation. Notice there's a button right here that says background. I'm going to click on background, choose an image. I'm going to upload an image and I save those to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. So there was my first file. Perfect. And here is my, I'm going to go to my second page and upload there. And there is my second page. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in those questions as well. So I'm going to go ahead and insert and upload page number three. Now notice that this has the lines on top of it, but what, what, I, what I would highly recommend here is making a text box. So you can make a text box to go over top of, over top of those lines because the kids are not not gonna be able to type into the actual background of that page. So I'm clicking in here, I'm going to double click uh, the actual text box and I'm going to go right up here to uh, fill color. I'm gonna say that I want this to be white fill and, uh, and that is essentially it. So notice I can say here, uh, type your answer, whoops, type your answer here. So now, whoops, I spelled that wrong again. Uh, there we go. So now I have that white box on top of there. I can just copy that. I did control C to copy, control V to paste. And where the lines are is where I would put those boxes, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have questions about this, definitely let me know. So um, those are the two big questions that I'm getting right now. First of all, how do I scale down? How do I scale down a big uh, Google file that I already have, whether it's a Google Slides or Google Docs? Or uh, the other big question that I am receiving is, how do I take something that's currently a PDF and how do I turn it into something that the kids could actually write on top of? And I think this is probably one of the easiest ways that I think you could do it. Um, let me just go that one step further here. I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to type in legends for the, the title of this. So notice I just changed the title right up here. I'm going to go back over to my Google, uh, Google Classroom. I'm going to Classwork, Create, Assignment. And right down here, I can do Add, Google Drive. And because it is the most recent thing that I worked on, there's that legends activity. I'm going to double click on that. And then remember, this is super important, those three options you have there, students can view file, students can edit file, or make a copy for each student. In this case, I wanna make a copy for each student. I would assign that, the kids would all get their brand new document uh, that they would be able to work on and then turn into you once they were finished, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Um, in taking some of those bigger files or taking PDFs that you have and bringing those into um, uh, digital learning inside of Google uh, so you can easily assign those inside of Google Classroom. All right, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.